Happy hour rocks! Talk about your king's banquet. And I don't think this chicken is cooked, Mike. That's why it's free. Hey, I'll take another one of those $8 beers, please. Uh-oh, I gotta hit the John again. Don't worry, buddy. That's just your stomach adjusting to life on the road. Be right back. Hey, better hurry if we're gonna catch the all-you-can-eat clam steak buffet and thank God it's Wednesdays. <gasps> I guess I just sort of naturally fell into the leadership role. It's always been like that for me. Hey, Mike, come here. You gotta see this. Everybody's really counting on me to get us over the top. Oh my God, Ben! How'd your brother get on road rage? A lucky bastard. What the hell have I been doing wrong? So in conclusion, I think I'd be perfect for road rage. Am I hip enough? Hell yes, dog. Let's kick it freestyle. He looks good. Now that he's dropped the J.C. Penny look. These people have become like my soulmates. It's so perfect. The trip is ending in Santa Fe because it's so like it's super spiritual. Great Spirit is like so super pleased that you won the Jello Shot Marathon. You are all now 40 points closer to your fully loaded SUVs. Yes. Yeah, cool. Uh, Izzy rocked with the Jello Shots, man. It was so cool of her to fall off the wagon so we could win. What's more important, sobriety or getting more points for the SUVs? So I took one for the group. Brother Eagle, no request that you get your freak on at our casino nightclub dances with laps. We should hook up with him, man. Santa Fe is only like 18 hours away. We could be there in like 18 hours. Are you kidding me? It's always been my dream to be on a road show. Yeah, right. What would it be called? Mike and Gary? <laughs> so this guy did your daughter. On her wedding day. Oh, man. Thanks. I've been tracking that son of a for months. I was so close and then suddenly, poof, he's gone. It's like he's vanished from the face of the earth. We've got 12 hours to find the organs and get them to Santa Fe General. If we don't make it, guys, those orphans are toast. You magnificent bastard. You went undercover. Wing me. Coming right up. Dip. You know it, Daddy. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on Ben's face. He's gonna freak! When was the last time you saw him? I'll kill you! No, I'll kill you! Bring it on! Christmas, two years ago. There's just something about Ben, the way he dresses, the stories he tells. I'm starting to think he could so be the one I lose it to. <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. I'm definitely tight with Kira, yeah. But now that I got to know everybody individually, I'm starting to think of everybody as individuals. I'm not so much a stand-up comic as a satiritist. I hold up a fun house mirror to society. Everyone's been really supportive of my weight issues. I finally feel okay about who I am. And who I am is a girl who needs to lose maybe 15 pounds. <sighs> maybe uh, 30 pounds. What do you think? Everyone's cool, but I feel so alone. There's no one here I could talk to about my sexuality. <laughs> I'm really confused. A few more days and it's like blue sky, baby. Ain't nothing gonna stop us now. Hey, brother, kiss my hairy ass! Oh, no. Hey, Ben, how the hell are you, man? Mike? Great to see you, man. I am not confused anymore. <laughs> I know exactly what I want. I can't believe I'm actually on the Road Rage bus doing a confessional. Everybody here's been so totally cool, especially Nate. <coughs> Nate, is it? Man, what are you doing here? <laughs> You're my big brother. I saw you on TV. Thought I'd come and say, hey, hey, is that my jacket? When I first saw Ben, he asked me what I was doing here. And I said, you're my big brother, saw you on TV. Thought I'd come by and say, hey. At that point, I think I said, hey, is that my jacket? 
He's my little brother and I love him. But what you need to know about Mike is that he's very insecure. He's always got to be the center of attention. It's sad, really. Uh, let me introduce you to everyone. No, no, I got it. That drunk girl, black comic guy, fat chick, gay guy, and hello. That must make you the virgin. First thing Mike did was reduce everyone to a complete stereotype, which, you know, I thought was kind of rude. First thing I did was reduce everyone to a complete stereotype, which I thought was really funny. <laughs> and who's sitting next to me in a Mexican jail cell on New Year's Eve? Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> What? That's my best story. Can I talk to you alone, Mike? Ugh, it felt so sad when Mike stole Ben's story. If we don't have honesty, we'll never make it. You stole my story. Hey, you know how it is. You're sitting around having drinks. Oh, come on, I'm sorry, Mike. Just let it slide, okay? I got something really good going here. Yeah, all right. Well, at least it's nice to see you finally got some friends. Cold? A little. <laughs> Share my blanket? Oh, thanks. He said thanks. <laughs> he didn't have to, but he did. Well, uh, we better pack it in and get some sleep, gang. Uh, so, uh, I guess you and Gary have a long drive ahead of you tonight. Actually, we were thinking we might just hang with you guys. Uh, I, I don't think that's a good idea. We've got another mission tomorrow. Wait a minute. We just can't send them off in the middle of the night? It's night. But there isn't enough room on the box. We'll make room. Then it's settled, Ben. We're here. Wakey wake, road ragers. I see you've picked up some stragglers. I hope they cheer you on in your next mission. You're really going to fall for it. <laughs> When we get over the field, you jump and aim for the target. If you land on the bullseye, you get 100 points. You must amass 200 points to move on to your next mission. Okay, I so hate to admit this, but it was so totally sexy that Mike had the balls to get on that plane. Oh my God, I so can't believe I just said balls. Oh my God, I just said it again. Oh my God. So, are you okay? Never better, why? Ben told us all about your fear of flying. My fear of flying? Ben, let's go. L -l Let me think about it. L -l 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 ah! The whole team has to jump or you lose! I'm too scared! Then we'll jump together! Ah! Why? Uh, I'm scared too. In hindsight, when they were handing out the parachutes, I, I probably shouldn't have lied about my weight. What do you think? You ever notice white people jump out of planes for fun, yo? Only time you see a brother jump out of plane is when that mother is on fire. And he probably hijacked that bitch. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying, right? Save my Shoot isn't gonna pack itself. Oh, man, it's just oh, up. What? Oh. Oh, <laughs> that was nice. oh my god, it was so the most exciting experience of my life. 
and it was so because of Mike. I would have hit the hundred, but there was a problem with my rip cord. Okay. Thanks for helping us get the point. Yeah, it was a little tough though. What with me being afraid of flying and all. Well, look, since I stole your jail story, I, I figured it was only fair that I give you my fear of flying. But we're cool, right? Not really. Ben and Mike are like totally stressing and it's totally affecting all of us. So I think what everybody needs is some cocktails. <laughs> I love you, isn't that what life is made of? Though it worries me to say that I never felt this way. Ooh. You know, you really have it together for a guy who's bipolar. Bipolar? Okay, let me guess. Ben told you that? What else has he said about me? Compulsive liar. Love footy. Tone deaf. Bad weather. See, when a white guy wets a beard, it's like, here I am, wet in the bed. Now, when a black man wets the bed, he does damage, right? <laughs> you trashed my rep to these guys. What do you care what they think? They're my friends. Oh, really? Well, we'll see about that. Okay, it's go time. Yeah, bring it on. It's now or never. Come hold me tight. Kiss me, my darling. Be mine tonight Tomorrow will be too late It's now or never My love will wait Who's the choir geek now? Oh yeah? Well, it ain't over till the bipolar, tone-deaf, club-footed, compulsive, lying, bedwetting baby brother sings. Quitting the show. Say bye to Kira for me. Mike, we've got a problem. Ben's leaving. He'll be fine. I don't think so. He's quitting the show. All right, whatever. I'll go talk to him. Gary came to me and said, Mike, we've got a problem. Ben's leaving. I said he'll be fine. Then Gary said, I don't think so. He's quitting the show. So I said, all right, whatever, I'll go talk to him. So I did. What's the problem? You are. <laughs> Me? <laughs> what did I do? What you always do? You came in and stole my thunder. You stole my life. Not your whole life. I didn't take the part where you're a <laughs> hole. Oh, come on. No, 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 you won. Everyone likes you better, so enjoy it. It's all yours. All right, fine, go. And give me my jacket back. Take it. What the hell happened? Ben just bailed. Who could blame him? Wait a minute, you're taking his side? Fine. Freaking believable. Do you mind? This is kind of personal. I gotta tell you, Mike, I understand what he's been going through. Oh, I know exactly what he's been going through. My wardrobe, my stories, my whole freaking Would you life. Please, this really has nothing to do with the show. Thank you. I just realized why you came here. You're jealous. Of what? Of Ben. He's on road rage. He's hooking up with Kira. He's getting all the attention. Come on, Mike. The most obvious thing stares you right in the face, and you can't see it. I've drawn you a bath gear. Thanks, Nate. For once, Ben's the star, and you can't deal. Ugh. Look, man, you're really starting to piss me off. I mean, think about it from Ben's point of view. His whole life, he's been nothing but Mike Bonner's brother. Carl Benson, Jenny Blyer, Mike Bonner's brother. For outstanding individual achievement, Mike Bonner's brother. Oh, Mike Bonner's brother! You're always taking over, Mike. You don't care who it affects as long as it's good for you. Yeah, but the, uh, the, Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. When Ben comes back, I'll apologize. You're doing the right... 
Oh, no, come on! Wiki Wake Road Ragers, final mission time. Since you spent the past three months wrestling with your demons, we thought we'd give you something else to wrestle with. WWF Champion China! Oh, and one other thing? All six of you must compete or you forfeit everything, and your precious SUVs will become a distant memory! <laughs> Wait, where's Ben? Yo, he didn't come back. Without Mike Bonner's brother, we are so screwed. First that punk lied to us, and now he sold us out. Ben just wasted three months of my life! Yeah! Who's Ben again? The a-hole is about to blow this for us. Hey, that's enough! My brother's a man of his word, and I'm telling you, he will not let you guys down. Has Ben here yet? Uh, any minute now. Unless he shows right now, you're going to have to... Get ready to kick some serious ass! Oh, ben! At a time. Let's get it on! I'll go first. Who's with me? Ebony and Ivy. Let's break us up some China! Hey, China, are you a parking ticket? No, why? Because you've got fine written all over you. Mike? That's it, you pig! Mike, it's you! One way to St. Louis. Aren't you Mike Bonner's brother from Road Rage? Yeah. How can you be here when you're there? Mike? Uh, excuse me? This? You want some of me? Who's the real Ben? Me! Me. Stop it, Mike. I, I'll make this short. All of the stories I've told you guys, well, they weren't mine. Y yes, they were. Remember that time Mike, you... enough lying. You've always been the cool one, and I've always been, well, just Mike Bonner's brother. I came back to come clean and tell everyone I'm... Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Especially... To you. No. If anybody should be sorry, it's me. I'm sorry too. When Ben was honest with us, he was so vulnerable, so real. I suddenly so want him to be my first again. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. All right, that's four double cheeseburgers, two orders of chili fries with cheese, and one jumbo salad and a sack. I guess now that I won my SUV and the cameras aren't going to be on me anymore, I don't care what I look like. What do you think? When a white man gets his back broken, it's like, oh golly, my back is broken. But when a black man gets his back broken, he sues road rage for every cent they got. Call Johnny Cochran. Call Al Sharpton. This is my car, and I'm OK to drive. I'm not confused anymore. I now know exactly what I want. Help me. Ugh. So, you're okay? For the first time in my life, I'm like for being banned. Thanks, Mike. No problem, bro. Well, there's my ride. I'm out of here. Oh, and the next time I drop by, I'll be sure to call first. Later! Oh, dinner is served.
You know, Mike, it was a really nice thing you did for your brother back there. Yeah, for once I think I left him in a pretty good place. Well, Kira, that's not just the smell of a new car. It's the smell of a new beginning. What was that? Hey, your friends, my bunner! I gotta tell you, when I found out I had critically wounded Mike Bonner's brother, well, sir, I felt like so super conflicted. Oh, oh my God, I can't believe that I just said that. You're watching Comedy Central. If you thought freshman year was rough, wait till you see it animated. Stick around for undergrads. Coming up next.